So today, guys, hello to Kill Fam. I'm going to be doing 10 scriptures on how I felt like I was losing hope on my YouTube channel because I have felt like I lost hope because I don't feel like I know anything about YouTube. But I really know about YouTube, but it's like I'm losing hope because I be losing subscribers. I be gaining it and I lose it again. And it's just like I'm just trying to help out people who may be losing hope. So I will be reading Jeremiah 29:11. So let me go back down. For I know the plans I have for you. De for you declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not harm you. Plans to give you hope in the future. And that's Jeremiah 29, 11. And this is John 13, 7. Jesus replied, you don't understand now what I'm doing, but someday you will. And what that scripture means, like someday you may not understand it right now, but one day you might understand it by day by day. First Peter's. 510 after all your season of suffering god is and all his grace will restore confirm strengthen and establish you what that means is if you suffering through anything if you're going through something that's tragic or something that you lost a family member or you lost somebody that's close to you a friend or a family member or a church family member or somebody you just lost in your heart you know somebody who was so close to you so nice to you and they just you know passed and going on to heaven and you know he will confirm his script in you and heal your body you know from all the hurt the grieving and the the sorrows that you're feeling right now but you may be not understanding right now but you will understand it one day at a time so i will be reading another scripture uh, it's just 14 13 through 14 do not be afraid stand firm and you will see the deliverance the lord will bring you today the lord will fight for you you need to only be still so what that means is that if you just stand still, God will take care of you. God will heal your body. God will just stand over you and just guide you through your paths of righteousness. God will just guide you through your trials and tribulations. God will just test your faith to see if you ready to know who the Lord is, know who, how he is in person, how he is in life internally. So he will deliver you all from healing. He will deliver you from anything, hurts and diseases, any you know anything you may want to be delivered from just you know ask him and he will deliver you and just stand still because you know god is always looking he always watching he always hearing everything we do or say or we do to people we just have to stand firm and he will take care of our problems and Deuteron deuteronomy 31 and 8 it is the lord who goes before you he will be with you he will not leave you or forsake you do not fear or be dismayed what that means is if you fear like god is you know saying that we shouldn't have fear or have a power of sound of a sound mind and what that means is that he will never leave you nor forsake you he will never leave you by your side he will never leave you by yourself he never will never leave you lonely or in somewhere stranded or he will he will always be by your side no matter what when i was like i tell this testimony to everybody like in my church like i used to have seizures and i thought that god had left my side but he was always right there healing my body and thank god by december of 2008 i was free from seizures i don't have any more seizures no more but god knowing that these doctors who saying that oh i may have more but i god saying no no i'm not going to do this to my child no i'm not going to have this going have my child going through this i'm god's child and my parents child second so deuteronomy 31 and 6 don't be mistake god's patience for his absence his timing is perfect and his presence is consistent he is always with you and what that means is he will never be absent in your life he will always be with you and he will always be in your presence consistently he will always be with you through the hard times through the easier times the, the it may not always be easy right now but it will still get easier because i know god is watching over all of us who may be going through something right now we may be going through financial blessings we may be going through financial problems we may be struggling paying our rent we may be str struggling playing a car note we may be struggling in our school life we may be struggling in our job life we might be struggling trying to pay bills and, and trying to do that but god is always providing for us he always supplying every need that we have 
may need and may need a lot of lives. In Romans 8 and 18, what we suffer now is nothing compared to the glory he will reveal to us later. So if anything we, that we are suffering right now is always going to be compared to the glory he will reveal to us later. So later on in the future, he will reveal to us all the sufferings we have been going through, all the financials, all the all the hurt and diseases and stuff that we may be going through right now and he didn't always say we we're going to be going through it forever he just said no give it to me and put it in god's hand and he would take care of the rest and take your hands off of it because you know if you put your hands on it and extend your hands on on what you're trying to do for yourself God is already doing it for you, so you don't, you don't have to worry about it. You just have to stand still and be stand firm and be in God's arms so he can take care of you. So, yeah, and these are the 10 scriptures. And also, I'm going to be doing Isaiah, Romans 15, 13. I pray that God, the source of hope, will fill you completely with joy and peace because you trust in him. Then you will overflow with confident hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. And that means that, like, you know, if you have joy and you have peace, and you have peace in your home, you have peace in your heart, you have peace everywhere you go, that would be the best, you know, gift you will ever get for Christmas. Because if you have peace and you have joy in your heart, you know, you have joy and compassion for yourself. Like what I was saying, like I wanted to be a nurse and I said I had to have compassion for my patients and also for myself because I always, you know, felt down and felt like I was not going to make it. I was not going to make it through it. But I said God is already looking over me and already making plans for my life. So I'm just going to take my hands off of it and let him take care of the rest. In Isaiah 41 10 so do not fear for I am with you do not be dismayed for I am your God I will strengthen you and help you I will uphold you with righteous right hand so what that means that you know do not fear because he is with you all the time he's never left your side he always going to be with you all the time so these are the 10 scriptures you know I read you know for people who remember like that you believe all hope has been lost because I have been lost in different ways and maybe I'm going through financial struggles. I may be going through a time where I'm, you know, I had started my YouTube channel in July 1st, 2021. I felt I lost hope because I was like, I started my first channel and I grew so much and I had to lose that channel and I had made a new channel and I said, let me go on and keep going, keep going. And I felt like quitting, but I said, no, this is not what God wanted me to do. He wanted me to spread the word and keep the word in his name. He want me to spread the word to spread the gospel to everybody to let them know that hope is still there. Joy is still there. Your sorrows are going to be behind you. Your crying your tears all of the things you may be feeling right now if you may be crying you may be grieving over a loss of a family member or a friend but god is already watching over you because he said we're not going to always live forever we're always going to be in god's time not in our time because when we put in our time it's gonna make god do take care of our things slower but when we put in his time it's gonna go by real quick like you know 2021 has been a year where we've been going through financial struggles we've been going through a lot of things where we couldn't pay our rent we couldn't pay our bills and we couldn't do anything that god would then put on us more than we could bear so if you want more scriptures videos like this i will be doing more videos like that tomorrow because i have church tomorrow and also i'll be doing more videos like this so if y'all want to see me my pretty face all the time so please hit the subscribe button and I you know, spread the word to everybody, and, you know, bye. Love you. And let me say a quick prayer before I get off the um video. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I pray over whoever is on, subscribe to my channel. I pray over them that they may have the financial money that they need. They need a house or a home to stay at. Just give it to them, Lord, because I know that you will provide for them to supply all their needs, and I know you will do it for them. So if you... All right, listening to my prayer right now, I just want to thank you for allowing us to see Christmas. I thank you for allowing us to see another day. I thank you for allowing me to like, use my limbs to open up two of my gifts, that which is my eyes. My eyes, I looked up to the hills, which come in my help. It comes from the Lord, Lord. And I thank you for this day, and amen and amen.
So thank you guys and love you so much. And God loves you also and I love you more.